bought, and I had a one left behind as a prop to show you, but I left it at home. <laughs> but I got stuff on the table I hurried around this morning, so if it wasn't for some timers, I'd have no memory at all. Um, anyway, my, uh, my wife left uh, a few weeks ago. I'm on TV dinners now. For, uh, and she's down in Peru, and she's been, she, thank you. <laughs> she's been down there a few weeks now, and she's been blogging in her little Facebook area, area, and I'm trying to get her a blog set up so we can track her what she's doing, but she's in the middle of uh, foundation pouring and getting contractors and putting walls up and getting dry, drywall or uh, rebar wire and all these great things that women love to do. <laughs> in the meantime, something I learned out our last year, something I haven't, haven't used since I was in high school in dating, uh, were these mosquito coils in Florida. Have you ever seen those? Well, we, last, last year we were down there and we used them every night to go to sleep because we're sleeping, living in a construction site. But it's a, it's a beautiful area. And uh, just a little quick picture, this was a couple of years ago, we started down there, we got some engineering going. It's right in a square. Uh, I mean, just a little background, in 2007 this area was devastated by earthquakes. Uh, and if you've got uh, knowledge of the earthquakes down there. My wife is tied to that area because that very village that was so devastated, her father uh, raised her five siblings, or, or at least hatched them, and they moved a little farther away. kept that property uh, in the family and it's just been kind of abandoned and people have been squatting on it and stuff like that. Uh, so her her brother went down to keep it in the family and to figure out what to do with it. Her sisters or brothers are going to give it up, whatever. And it touched my heart. After, my wife's fired after the earthquake to say, I'm retired. That village needs something. Let's do something. So she got her sisters and brothers to donated to a 501c we created and we're building and this was uh, last, well two years ago we finished up just securing the property, put a little cabin there that we, we sleep in when we're, when we're getting ready for the bigger project. But uh, that's one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> anyway, we've done a lot of just building that, that building there, uh, just getting started, that's just a little you know, a little uh, thing for us to, to live in or the contractor or the site while the place is being constructed. But uh, the next slide. <laughs> Uh, last year we were down there actually doing the dem demolition of the old building that was not livable anyway, uh, completely tearing it down. And um, and this year, one more slide. We are pouring it to put it up. So that's what's going to be. It's a it's a two story um, missionary home. Uh, so it'll be a dormitory, um, two dormitories up at the top for for women to sacrifice their workers. So, uh, the next door neighbor came over and donated a one fifth of the property to us. Uh, and he got his sister and brother to sell their two, their their portions. So we now own the wall. We took it down right away last year. <laughs> so the, the, the obstacles are falling out of the way with God's help. Um, we're doing all this just from uh, our, our our own uh, savings, what we can raise on the website, as well as some brick donations from some of you. Uh, we are very active tithers here, and we wouldn't ask anybody to do anything if you're not a tither. But uh, what we really need more than anything else is your prayers. Uh, and just to uh, help that out, and things are done with the, with the, uh, uh, the help with uh, like the pumps, the filters. Paul Masson did this great artist rendering, made a great video out of it, we put it on our website. Paul Masson, was me, Mason. <laughs> How do you make your fridge? Yeah, mosey. <laughs> it's a cookie. <laughs> Um, and uh, we've been, it's just your help, your prayers, um, your guidance. And my wife's gone down for two months, and she'll go back down in August. We've already had five people signed up for a missionary trip to go down uh, to help. That, that's what we're really going to be using. And so we, we plan to. We've been working with Impact 95 a little bit. They actually went down with them. So just before Lily went down to Ensenada for a trip, just, just came out of the whim. And uh, Mike, uh, uh, Mike Stevens quickly opened up the cabin here and I got 12 bags of clothes from our shirts, took down the Ensenada. We learned how a, a missionary home works. It was just kind of interesting to see that and to get a whole lot of little things just to learn. It was just, you know, another touch of God from us. So I appreciate it and I just wanted you guys to know what she's doing, what we're doing, and my props. <laughs> <laughs> Great. There's 
so much ministry that happens in your lives that nobody really knows about. They're not billboarded or anything. And here, he, Bill and Lily are doing just a great job in Peru. Amen? Amen. Hey, uh, my friend Richard Vihan, I think at Lupo, uh, he's going to come in and pray for Bill and Lily in Spanish. So, Richard, right. can you come pray for us, please? No one can know Spanish is the language of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can prove this fact that Jesus ate brown, flat bread. <laughs> yeah, so. Padre Santo, te damos gracias en este día, Señor, por lo que tú estás haciendo, Padre. Dice la palabra, Señor, Padre, cuán hermosos son los pies de aquellos que llevan el Evangelio de paz. Y, Padre, en este momento, damos gracias por mi hermano, Señor, del trabajo que él hace en Perú. Pedimos, Señor, una gran bendición sobre su vida, sobre su ministerio, Señor. Que tú sigas abriendo puertas en ese lugar, Padre. Trae, Señor, todo lo que necesitan para llevar tu palabra, Señor, a un pueblo que necesita ir a las buenas noticias de ti. Señor, pedimos que sigas abriendo puertas aquí en San Diego y también en tus partes del mundo, tus hermanos que puedan venir al lado de él a apoyarlo en su misión y solamente Padre sabemos que esa obra es tuya y tú Señor lo vas a traer a cumplir Father we just thank you that you understood that and even though 90% of people here couldn't God we just come together as a family together and we agree that God will continue to do great things in that place we give you praise and we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus and God's people say Amen Amen, Amen. 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 Amen.